everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to Mama from Scratch. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some high-end Dollar Tree DIYs for Kirkland decor. That's right, I'm sharing with you some really easy and beautiful Kirkland DIYs that you can make for a fraction of the cost and I promise you, you'll want to put these in your home. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let's go ahead and get started. For this DIY, I will be using this box I got from the Dollar Tree. It comes with a lid. You'll definitely want to make sure you get something with a lid. You could use anything you have around the house as well. I am just starting by cutting off the first part of my box because I want it to, to be a little bit more uniform in size. And then I'm taking that strip that I cut off and I'm going to hot glue that to the other part of the box. That way I can elongate the top part of this project. Now I am taking these wooden skewers that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree, a local grocery store. You can pick up a longer one from Walmart and chop them down to smaller if you want. I'm just hot gluing these down and I placed them about three fourths of an inch apart. I really didn't measure. I just added about three or four to each side of the box. Now that we have all of our wooden skewers uh, glued on, you're going to want to make sure that the top is level as far as the height of the skewers. And then I'm going to go in with this flat black spray paint. You can use whatever coloring you would like and go in all different directions and angles. That way you can get a nice coating. This is how it's looking right now. You're going to put a faux candle in here, not a real one, because obviously we're using you know cardboard here and wood and the top will act as the finishing part. You don't have to glue it down, that way you can remove your candle whenever needed. But I think it turned out really good. Is it the exact shape as the Kirkland one? No, but I still like it. You could also use like a lotion bottle and cut it in half and use that as well. For this Kirkland dupe, I am going to be using this 11 by 14 canvas from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to coat this with black paint. Use whatever black paint you have on hand. You could also spray paint this if you wanted to. So once that is dry, I'm going to take some wooden skewers again and I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue and this is going to be my base for my first uh, part of this art piece here. So I'm just going to glue that down and then I'm going to go in with these gouache uh, paints by Arteza and I've had these and I really like playing with them. They're really fun and the coverage on them is really nice. The pigment is unbelievable. So I'm using the gold but I'm actually going to mix in the silver that they have and mix those together. For the brush, you can use a tapered end like this one, or you can just use um, a simpler um, straight edged one. I end up going with the straight edge one in the end. Um, after I do this one, I kind of get my technique down as I go. That's typically what happens when I work on art projects. So if you want to practice on something else first until you can kind of get the brush strokes the way you want, you can do that. But I'm, the gold on this was pretty bright and so I wanted to mute it down just a teeny bit to match the Kirkland decor piece that we're doing. So I just mixed in the silver like I said earlier and then I'm just going to go in and re-highlight that. And you can see how it just mutes it a little bit but the metallic in these paints is so beautiful. It has a wonderful sheen to it. I really like these. I'll leave it linked down below for you in case you want to get some of these. like a smaller little stem and then the leaf gets um, bigger and so I'm trying to mimic that and like I said with a lot of art pieces I kind of get my technique as I go so you can see here I'm just kind of starting to fatten them up a little bit and then taper them off at the very edge for the second one I wanted to work a little bit more freehand without the wooden skewer there. So you can use the wooden skewers or you don't have to. This is where I really got my technique down and so what I'm starting to do is I start off very light and then I push on that brush and then I let go. 
Can you see how I'm doing that? Light, push, and let go. So work with what you got, and obviously one side will be a little bit easier than the other, at least for me that's the case. But I think this leaf turned out really good, and to give that 3D effect, I added the wooden skewer, and you can paint it before, paint it after, do whatever works for you. When you're finished painting your piece, go ahead and spray a clear coat of sealer on it. That way it'll uh, stay really nice for you and then you're done. Like it's so pretty, let it dry and you have a really pretty art piece. This costs a fraction of what Kirkland wants and I like that you can kind of customize it and things like that. So. For this next Kirkland dupe, I am using this Antiquing Wax by Waverly, and you can brush this on, you can rub it on, you do whatever works for you. Um, it looks really good on natural wood, but I didn't have any um, that was the right size what I was looking for, so I just used this white wood trim here, and I just coated this. Now again, you can do whatever color you want for this, but I am trying to get mine as close to the Kirkland uh, decor piece as possible. I'm going to set that to the side and dry. I'm going to use these four champagne cups from Dollar Tree and we're only going to be using the bottom of these. Now I'm going to be using three of them and I thought this was such a cool idea. I took these uh, embroidery hoops and there's obviously two so I only needed three and I didn't want the metal piece on the bottom so you can just slowly pry that off. It doesn't break the hoop or anything and then I'm just going to glue that hoop back together. I ended up overlapping mine just so that it would really stay, but I don't think that's necessary. You could just leave it even. Um, and now I'm going to add some hot glue to the top, and then I'm going to add the uh, bottom of that champagne cup upside down, and that is how it's going to hold. Can you see that? So you're going to repeat that process for the next two hoops, and you can use all the same size hoops if you want. I had 8 inch and 10 inch, so I mixed the two together. So trying to paint these, I tried to use rocks to stand them up so I could get a pretty good coverage. I went in with this Satin Black by Krylon. You can pick this up at your local hardware store. And I just did some light coats all the way around. They ended up falling over though, and that was okay because I could really get into the little grooves. So just do a couple light coats at different angles, and this is the way they should look when you're all done. Really simple. And now you're going to add some glue to your wood piece. Put this first one in the center and hold that till it dries. And I think it looks so cool already. Next, I'm going to overlap them because that is how they look for the decor piece that we're making. And again, I'm just gluing that down. I'm using a little wooden skewer to remove some of the excess um, hot glue. This DIY decor dupe turned out so good. I'm so pleased with the size of the project and how simple and easy it is to put together. Make sure to use faux candles just to be on the safe side, but I absolutely love this decor piece. Which Kirkland DIY decor dupe was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. For me personally, I love the last one that I shared with you with the circle hoop candles. I think it's really beautiful. And I also like that you can make it a little bit longer or smaller scale if you wanted it to be that. But you can also do single ones of those and put those on bookshelves as well. I think that'd be really pretty. And of course, you can tweak the colors and things like that. But I really enjoy sharing these decor dupes with you. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching, get lots of inspiration. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't joined our family here, hit that subscribe button to come join us. I'd love to just be able to inspire and motivate you. And if you happen to miss the last few videos I posted. They'll be here on the screen and also down in the description box below if you get even more ideas on a budget. I don't know if you guys can hear it or what the weather's like out where you are, but it is pouring here today and I love it. I love it when it just rains really hard and there's thunder and lightning. Mm, I love that type of weather. I need to go bake some bread though because it's pretty
perfect baking weather. I don't know about for you, let me know if you like to bake when it's raining and stuff outside. So with that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one.